Matt, first and foremost, how did you convert a tennis player into a pickleball <laughs> player? That's what I want to know. That's my big question because Matthew had a famous tennis game that he played yeah. this week. Yeah, no, Matt, Matthew was very good at tennis, a uh, very good junior tennis player. It's kind of very publicized that uh, he was a great athlete and a great competitor. I was contacted early on through a friend um, that Matthew wanted to get into pickleball. It was going to help with his recovery. And I was like, I've, you know, grown up a fan uh, of Matty for forever, right? I grew up watching Friends. So when he came out for, for pickleball, I was pumped uh, converting him. It wasn't that hard. I mean, he had, he had all the skills um, necessary, you know, to be good. He was competitive. He understood getting up to the kitchen line. Um, he always came out in a good good mood. Uh, cared about everyone. Just uh, a really really good guy on the court. You're talking about a guy who was in perhaps the most famous ensemble television show in yeah. the history of TV. Yet he was so unassuming and yeah. just nice. Yes, I mean, unassuming and nice are two words that I would use. Genuine, caring. Um, he was just a guy that wanted to help others. Um, no matter when I spoke to him, it was always like, anything you need, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we, you know, him and I obviously shared a passion for pickleball. That was that was our common commonality. Um, and because we both shared that, he was willing, you know, to give me the shirt off his back. Um, and that, that's who he is. He brought, um, you know, his his dealings with addictions were, were very well publicized. He would bring other people to the courts sometimes that were going through similar things and try to use pickleball to help them as well. So at, at the end of the day, you kind of, you got a caring individual who really wanted to make everyone around them better. Um, and, and it was, yeah, I feel, I feel lucky to, to know him. He played two hours on Saturday. Tell me about Saturday. Did you have a chance to play with um, him or did you I, see I, him? No, I, I did not. Um, the last time I, I spoke with Matthew was, was about a week ago, a couple of days ago. Um, he played with, with another friend of mine, coach, um, at the Riv yesterday. I, I can't speak to length or how long, but, uh, you know, I, he, he's been playing consistently. I, I know for a fact he's been playing, you know, four or five times a week. Pickleball, I think, was was an outlet for him. Uh, it was something that, you know, he became obsessed with, and that was, that was his new um, healthy addiction, and he loved it. And um, I'm just happy that, you know, if, if anything, that he had a lot of fun and pleasure, you know, being on a pickleball court around people that he enjoyed uh, because he, he gave us so much joy. Yeah, you have to be in shape to play pickleball when you're playing like <laughs> he was playing it clearly. Um, how was Matthew doing physically? It, it seems like he was really had turned a corner and was heading in a great yeah. direction. Yeah, he was heading in a great direction. You know, like I said, his his dealings with addiction are publicized. But the last two years, really, once he got into pickleball, and I think the last year especially, he was starting to eat better. Um, and he, he was really focused on turning everything around, and he was doing a great, great job. This horrible news is one of those kind of things where you know where you are the moment you heard it. Yeah. For many of us, it will always be, where were you? And it, it it wasn't one of those things that you just couldn't believe at first? Oh, um, I couldn't believe it at all. Um, I got a text from from a, a close friend who's, who's also, who knows Matthew, who's played um, with Matthew. And and, uh, and then I, I, I didn't really uh, understand the text fully. And then it started getting more and more texts. And then I went online. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I, I know exactly where I was. Um, I'll never forget that. Um, I, I feel devastated for, for his family, um, for everyone that, that you know he gave joy to throughout his whole life. Um, so sending prayers to all, all of them. What will be your favorite memory of Matthew? What will make you smile or chuckle when you think of Matthew? <laughs> um, there's, there's, there's plenty. I mean, he was just a fun guy. We, you know, dinners with him. I, I was lucky enough to spend the Super Bowl at his house last year, just hanging around, being guys on the couch. Um, but from, from pickleball, he was always wanting to hit this one shot uh, around the post. Mm. Uh, it's called an ATP, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna hit one of those one day, you know, because he was, he was new to the game, and it was, it was something that like he saw other people doing. And I remember the first day. He, he hit it like he could not stop talking about it 
for a week because he hit a winner too. Well, it wasn't just he made it, he hit a winner and uh, he would not stop talking about that. I know he's hit plenty more since, but look, just to see someone get so much joy out of something, um, he deserved it. I got to ask you, you had a chance to hang out with him, spend time at his house and stuff like that. Um, what was Matthew's frame mindset, you know, these last few months? You know, I, I spoke to him a week ago. He was great. We had a, we had a lot of good laughs on the phone. And um, yeah, so I, look, I Matthew was always, he was someone you wanted, you wanted to see, you know, when, when he walked down uh, the hill to go on the pickleball court or, or, or you saw him, it, it made your day better. Um, so it, he had that, he had that star quality as, as a, as a person, um, that most people don't have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's funny you say that is that he had that star quality, but he was once again, so humble with his star yeah. quality. Was he looking forward to any new projects or anything like that that you know of? I mean, I know he's, he's, um, he's always working on things. He was, uh, I know he. He writes. Um, I know he wanted to start writing more things and, and and being active. You know, he likes he likes working, um, and he likes doing. So uh, um, yeah, I, I can't speak to specifics on that, um, but I, I know yes, he was he was working on plenty. We know he was also working on his house. Had he finally finished that house? <laughs> if if you had one more message to Matt, what would it be? Oof. I I I, I, I messed up. I'd like to talk to him one more time. Yeah. What would you tell him? Uh, just thanks. Thanks for being a very good friend.